this guy as a young man had a dream, a dream to become a big movie star, to come to uh, Hollywood and to become a great director and producer and a writer and all those kind of dreams he had. Of course, everyone told him it can't be done, but you know, he wouldn't take no for an answer and he moved across from New York to Los Angeles to Hollywood. And of course, one day after struggling, like we all do in the beginning, to get into TV and into movies, he had this idea of writing a script. And in longhand, he wrote this script, which was Rocky. Originally, when I brought the script to them, they were fairly enthusiastic about it. The one thing they were not enthusiastic about was me playing the part. And I really can't blame them at the time. But there was something inside of me that, that you know, this opportunity is never going to come around. And I really wasn't used to money. And I had no idea what I would be missing. But I know in the back of my mind, if I sell the script and it does very, very well, I'm going to jump off a building and if I'm not in it. So this is one of those things where you just roll the dice and you fly by the proverbial seat of your pants and say, all right, I got to try it. I got to just do it. I may be totally wrong and I'm going to be taking a lot of people down with me, but I just believe in it. The idea of doing this film was just to try to put into just perspective, like whatever, everyone has a dream, everyone has a slight dilemma in life, are they ever going to make it? And, then you get to a point where I may not make it to a certain level, but I can set my own goals. I may not be the best in the world, but at least I can, I can rise to a level that I can be confident and calm with and, and proud of myself. And so I think that's what the film is about. You may not be the best in the world, but you can be the best in your world. Whenever you're singing Rocky, I always feel as though we're giving a vote of confidence for these great athletes, for real. You know, it, it's, I, I've never pretended to be a boxer. I don't possess those skills. But what I do think I have is an understanding of what goes on outside the ring. Outside the ring is sometimes maybe even a bigger struggle than what goes on inside the ring. And if I was able to capture that, then I believe you could identify more with the fighter. But more than that, we also realize that our life is a constant battle. Sometimes I write things in Rocket that may seem a little precious, as they say, or a little sentimental, but I truly believe, you know, it's not how hard you can hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward because that's really what does make the difference in your life. Give up something to get something. And I thought, I didn't have any money, so I had no phone. I painted my windows black, so I didn't know if the sun was up, the sun was down. All I knew is I had to write. And I wrote, and I wrote. It's, it was very bad. It wasn't good at all. But it, every day, it was getting better and better, like, like a machine, like a muscle, until finally, the idea for Rocky came. So the idea is you must fail a hundred times to succeed once. It's, that's part of it. You, no one succeeds the first time. It's learning how to not get disappointed with failure, to understand failure. You only learn when you fail. You don't learn when you succeed. Lucky I was a failure with New York, and that is the reason I started writing with me and successful. It's all about dreams, you know, and by the way, dreams cost nothing. They're free. Uh, the hard part is just keeping them going and please keep them going because we're here for one simple reason. He believed in the dream. I believed in the dream and our dreams come true and there's no reason every one of yours can't either. I mean, maybe you're doing your job, but why you got to stop me from doing mine? Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to somebody, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. You know, the older I get, the more things I got to leave behind. That's life. The only thing I'm asking you guys to leave on the table is what's right. You stop being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. 
It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that.